Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Manish. I'm the CEO of the company. Uh, thank you very much for taking time out. Uh, Mr. Suri and Mr. Nanda, both promoters of the company, have explained to you how they got together 40 years ago and built Interarc into what it is today. Uh, today, Interarc is the turnkey construction solution provider in steel buildings countrywide. And I am going to talk about the industry size and the opportunity that exists, and then the kind of numbers that we have been able to deliver over the last uh, three years, the kind of growth that we have delivered. And going forward, we can, we can of course, take uh, questions uh, on, on this. Uh, so issue size has already been uh, briefed by uh, our bankers. Uh, the industry predominantly is about 80,000 crores last year, in which there is organized sector, there is unorganized sector, organized sector is about 45%. And within that, Interact is the second largest player, with the second uh, largest installed capacity as well. And clean unit buildings today, the usage is divided into three. One is the industrial uh, and manufacturing sector, wherein all the manufacturing and industrial uh, buildings come in. Second is the infrastructure, uh, wherein airports, railway stations, uh, logistics, parks, warehousing, all of that comes in. And then the other buildings, which is institutional uh, projects, wherein schools, colleges, and all other, all other buildings come in. Uh, right now, the growth is being seen in the third and the second. The industry has always dominated. Uh, that's around 60-65% of the total sale of engineering building that happens there. Uh, so, out of the total industry size, the CAGR has been about 8.5% last four years. However, if you see this slide, the organized players grow at a much higher pace and that is where Interact is also placed at 11.4%. It's almost one and a half times of the industry growth. And the organized player preference amongst the user is increasing day by day. Uh, the Crystal report says that the industry size is going to double next four years to about 34,000 crores. And the organized players are likely to grow at a much higher pace than the industry. The industry is likely to grow in uh, double digits. Mm -hmm. So that's what the industry is. And uh, what Mr. Landa explained that PLI, uh, built-in steel, sustainability, all those things are going to drive the uh, industrial uh, growth. Uh, we are building additional uh, capacity as is part of our objects also to support the kind of growth that we anticipate uh, going uh, into future. Uh, in terms of our customer base, we define the repeat customer as anyone who has dealt with Interact in its past. So almost 80% of the orders that we get are from the customers who have ever dealt with us in the past. So that's the theory that we apply on the repeat customer. It's not the same customer coming to buy again, but it could be a customer who has, through our 40 year journey, could have used an Interact product 30 years ago, and if he has come back to buy another project or another building, we classify them as repeat customers. And therefore our repeat customers every year could be different, but that's about 80%. It's not the same customer, it's the same uh, customer who has ever dealt with us. Uh, in terms of numbers, if you see, we have grown at a rate of about 24% CAGR last three years. Our top line has grown close to about two and a half times in the last three years. Our profitability has grown more than four times in the last three years. And this is a demonstration of number one that yes, there is there is a growth in the industry and Interact is growing. Uh, it's outpaced the industry growth. And uh, in terms of our profitability and the cash generation through operations also, you'll see that we have done very well in the last three years. Our cash generation out of the operating uh, operations was 81 crores uh, last year. So all these figures are from 21 to 24. And uh, this, this shows that there is, there is sustainability in, uh, in the performance. 
So these are uh, some of the some of the numbers. We are a debt-free company. There is no debt uh, that you can you can see here. And all the all the capital that we are raising through this is going to become our growth capital. That's what is is going to be through this fresh issue. It's all going to be invested in our in our growth uh, in future, as you can see from the objects. Uh, in terms of competitive landscape, we are uh, we are a clear number two, and uh, we of course wish to do much better. And uh, we believe that internal efficiencies, along with the external environment and our, and our market reputation and the credibility that we have built over the last 40 years, uh, will help us traverse this journey. Uh, in terms of uh, the Indian construction sector and the steel usage, there is a big headroom that is available for steel to be used in construction. More than about 40% steel gets used in construction. And if you see in India, the steel usage per capita is much lesser than the world. We use one third of the world average of steel. And if compared to China, where everything you know was built fast, and that's what we are doing now in India, we are one tenth of the usage of steel in China. And the national steel policy also, which is part of our RHP as well, specifies that India domestic capacity of production of steel as well as consumption needs to increase manifold. So that also shows that there will be more buildings and more construction than in steel. In fact, anything that you want to do fast has to be done in steel. It's more sustainable, it's faster, it's environment friendly. So that also specifies a lot of headroom for the for the growth. Uh, so we would we would like, in case there are any any questions that you may have on what you have seen and. Uh, with this, I come to the end of my presentation. Thank you very much. Well, firstly, a great, a very impressive journey that we have gone over 40 years. Uh, amazing uh, things that you must have achieved. So, congratulations on that. Uh, now, having said that, uh, could you tell me what is the major cost advantage? your company to the customers because we are you know it's value for money and cost is very important factor in deciding can you hear me yeah yes see uh, a product like ours uh, like i mentioned earlier we are like a capital goods supplier you know, we are like a high quality uh, high uh, speed machinery for the customer so what we really have to show to all our customers and all our clients is a value for them, that it serves their purpose. Just like no client would buy a machinery for making a car or making paint or making a soap, depending on how cheap it is, he will pro you see value add. You must get what he wants and at a very, very good price. So competition is always there. We want to show to the customer that we can engineer your building, we can design it, manufacture it, supply it on time, to suit your purpose completely and all your qualities that you need in a partner you know like you see quality and safety etc we feel is to be inbuilt nobody can stand on my head as an inspector and ensure that i can make quality so they feel interact is like a partner so whether it's safety delivery commitment and today in a lot of these foreign companies and indian companies ethics transparency and the culture of your company is as critical. Because that shows to them that there is a value and a partnership. Does it also increase the speed of uh, construction? Uh, the delivery is uh, on timelines and not exceeding. And it's before timelines compared to the completion. Well, uh, of course, speed is very, very important. And I think uh, pre-engineered buildings, even compared to other steel buildings, is at least 50 to 100% faster. You can, you can do it in half the time even compared to other steel buildings, concrete buildings and all of course even slower than that. And yes, deliveries are very easy because this is the whole plant is made in the factory. So we are not really dependent on making anything in the at the site. We produce everything, our capacities are very high. So you get the speed, you get the right delivery. If there are any delays, it is normally on the customer side that is not able to get the site ready or there are certain delays, but normally no in pre-engineering. 
and as the customer we be able to see the 3D model uh, on a computer screen and what's the role of technology that you are using and are you also investing in technology uh, so could you tell something about how technology is uh, being used by the company So we do uh, we do engineer the whole building, what we call the building information modeling. So all the buildings that we supply are customized. There is no standard building. And like you said, 3D. In fact, the design by itself is done in 3D. Every element is connected together. So of course, the customer is able to see the entire building framework in a 3D kind of an environment. Technology is, of course, a very important part. And we deploy this across the value chain right from you know the CRM in our sales and marketing to the engineering softwares and the you know specialized in-house developed programs to engineer the building because everything has to be engineered, engineering is really the brain, to the manufacturing like the IoT of things and you know highly automated plants, to the project management wherein the customer has full visibility of what's going on in my project in terms of schedule, in terms of logistics monitoring. So the technology at Interact is, is a very important facet from start to the end. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Uh, large buildings become very complex. They, they are, you may have a 10,000 ton building. It may contain 100,000 parts. You can't dump 10,000 tons of steel. So sequential manufacturing, sequential supply, and sequential erection are critical. So this, this is 